This is the new Beta 5. Beta V. Beta Vive? 5 V Vive. Whatever it's called, this is the new iteration of the beta drive from Solid Gold Effects. Essentially what you have here is a bass preamp slash overdrive pedal that sounds incredibly thick, super monstrous, very warm and classic sounding, but has such a beautiful voice and character that it adds to your overall tone. So the beta drive from Solid Gold Effects, it's gone through a few iterations, but I really think that this one is the one that truly stands out the most as such a top contender for really an always on pedal that truly gives you that very vintage and humongous sound that a tube stack gives you. And where I really think this version truly shines compared to the older ones is that it has such a clear cut voice to it that just lends so well to whatever bass you throw in front of it. But before we dig into the Beta 5 and for the sake of transparency, this video is sponsored by Solid Gold Effects and I absolutely love their pedals to death. But of course, as with any sponsored content on my channel, that has absolutely no effect on how I feel, what I say, any of the sounds in this video or anything like that. I'm just a guy playing different basses through it and seeing what it sounds like. So yeah, let's just jump right into it. You have two rows of controls, the top one consisting of three knobs, the second one consisting of two knobs, and a three-way toggle switch in the middle of them. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the main four controls out of the way, and then we can focus solely on those in the middle. Essentially what you have from your top left to top right is your volume control, which controls obviously your overall output, drive which controls your overall gain, and what this pedal really succeeds at is going from just a little to no gain where it just has a nice beef to your tone where you can then of course control the EQs and change it up how you want. But then when you start to raise that gain up, it does so amazing at simulating that natural drive and grit that you get from a classic tube stack. It's kind of crazy too, because when you raise that gain past about noon, it reacts just like a tube stack in the sense of where it just sits sort of humongous and nasty and brutal sounding. Of course, that's not for everybody, but it just again has that really classic sound to it that is just so fun to play around with. Then your primary EQ controls on that bottom row are presence and body. Presence lets you adjust treble while body lets you adjust bass. And then in the middle is the really exciting LPF controls or low pass filter, where it works a lot sort of just like a regular tone knob on a pedal, where clockwise you get a brighter tone, counterclockwise you get a darker tone. But what's really cool is the bottom you have that three-way toggle switch that lets you choose between three separate LPF modes. What these different modes do is set the frequency of the low pass filter. So it gives you a lot of extra options with less controls. So it's super easy and really fun to be able to sort of quickly dial in what tone you want in a very simplified way. Setting one on the left side provides a mid bump, setting two on the right side provides a mid scoop, and then zero in the middle removes the filter from the circuit altogether and it increases the output overall too. So not only do you get your primary treble and bass controls, but you get the control your low pass filter to a lot of different ways that lead to a lot of versatility. That is just an absolute blast, especially trying it out with different passive and active bases.
5, Beta Mark 5, Beta Vibe, whatever we're calling it, there are quite a few that I really enjoy. Primarily all the options that you have for EQ controls, not only for the low pass filter, but of course that presence and body too that really helped you sculpt exactly what you're looking for. And I think this pedal really does serve as a perfect always on sort of pedal where you can really get that primary tone you're looking for and just have it go straight to the front where everyone can hear it. As for the cons, I know some people are just not gonna like the overdrive sound. That push crank tube stack is just not for everybody. But again, I just think it sounds so good and so natural too. And one other thing is that there's no DI out, which I know just because it's a preamp pedal, there's gonna be a lot of bassists wanting that preamp out. To me personally, a DI out isn't always necessary, but again, I know a lot of bassists will really want a DI out. But those are just my opinions on the Beta 5. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below and really whether you're more of a vintage sound player or more of like a modern sound player. There is a distinct difference, but it's so much fun being able to go between the two and see what sounds good with what and also combining them as well. But of course, thank you all so much for watching as always, for watching, subscribing, commenting on my videos, sharing them. I truly do appreciate it, y'all. And of course, a humongous thank you to my Patreon supporters over here too. Mwah, mwah. If you wanna be like one of these gorgeous people right here and help support the channel every single month, then go ahead and head on over to my Patreon page. But again, thank you all so much for watching as always. And of course, no matter where in the world you are, stay safe, practice that bass, and I'll see y'all next time.